in this question, we have two capacitors connected in series, C1 and C2. Okay, the, they are connected to a 96 volts uh, power supply. Okay, C1, C2. Okay, in C2, um, they have there's a dielectric, okay, porcelain. Okay, with uh, dielectric constant 7.00. Okay, so there are three parts in this question. Um, we want to find that after charging for well, the charges, the total energy stored in the capacitors and the electric field in C2. So we are given that they have the same area. The area is 1 cm square. They also have the same plate separation, which is 0 0.1 mm. Okay. So to do part A, um, the charge on each capacitor are the same and so to do this uh, easily we can find the equivalent capacitance. So uh, for capacitors in series, okay, the equivalent capacitance, the reciprocal of the capac uh, equivalent capacitance is the sum of the reciprocals of the capacitance okay so um, and c1 is equal to epsilon naught a over d and then c2 is kappa epsilon naught a over d okay so the equivalent capacitance is 1 over c1 plus 1 over c2 and take the reciprocal of that and so you can uh, simplify. When you simplify, this is what you get. Epsilon dot A over D times 1 plus 1 over kappa. And the whole thing, this whole thing reciprocal. So you can substitute the values. Okay, so the area is 10 to the negative 4 meters square. The D is also uh, 10 to the negative 4 okay 1 plus 1 over 7 and to the negative 1 and these two cancel out and we get 7.74 times 10 to the negative 12 farad okay so the charge on each capacitor p1 equals to q2 is equal to c equivalent times v Okay, so let's multiply the equivalent capacitance with the voltage, which is 96, or the potential difference, and you get 0 0.743 nanocoulombs. Okay, so this is the answer for part A. Then in part B, we want to find the total energy stored in, the, in both capacitors. Okay, so we'll be using u equals to half cv square and in this case u will just be half times the equivalent capacitance times v square so half times 7.74 times 10 to the negative 12 times 96 square and we get 3.57 times 10 to the negative 8 joules Okay, then in part C, we want to find the electric field between the plates in C2. So first we find C2 is equal to kappa epsilon naught A over D. Okay, so just put in the numbers. And you get 6.20 times 10 to the negative 11 farad. Then uh, we can find V2, which is Q over C2. And E2 is V over D, V2 over D. So we have Q over 
uh, C2 times D. Okay, so you can just substitute the given numbers. Okay, so just use your calculator. Okay, and you get 1.2, 0 times 10 to the 5 volts per meter. Okay, so this is the answer for part C. And that's all for this question.